Hi! In today's video lesson, I'm gonna cover real quick how to uh, go around the stock to trade and do some of the basic features that we currently have. So we're gonna start by adding a uh, top percent gainers to uh, to the sidebar over here. So we'll click on the I icon. We click on top percent gainers, and this will provide you a list of of the 15 top percent gainers that are actually uh, running today. So today is the uh, February 16, 2016. You can order these by percent change, by volume, by last price, or by symbol. You may also add any columns that you may wish. For example, I'm going to add market. There we go. So I can order them by, sort them by market as well. Um, and from, from this screen, essentially, you may open any of these stocks to actually watch them on the main area here. Um, so, for example, let's go with the top percent gainer for today, which is, well, let's go with Groupon, GRPN, over here. There we go. And as you can see, we can load the chart, uh, which shows the news for Groupon when they appear on the chart. You may hide these or display them at, uh, at your leisure. You may zoom in, pan. So, on, on this side, top percent gainers actually shows the top percent gainers for the day which have a volume above uh, 5,000 shares on the day. Um, let's go now and add real quick a new watch list. I'm going to create a new watch list over here from a custom watch list and I will select create new. And a re really cool feature about a uh, watch list is that you can either add uh, symbols to the watch list one by one or you can add them in bulk. You can also rename it. So my list today Let's put that here and I'm, I'm going to show. So I'm going to add Q-U-O-T, I'm going to add Groupon, G-R-P-N. And here I have a list of stocks that I would like to add in bulk. So I just copy them. You can also press Control c on your keyboard or Command-C on your keyboard. I'm going to paste them. Right click, paste, Control v and press enter and since these two tickers were already on the on the watch list we can add them again so it just gives you an error message so again much like top percent gainers over on this screen you may uh, sort them by any of, uh, of the fields that are available so any of the columns can be sorted according to whatever needs you have um, on this one I'd like to see how many trades we have uh, for each of these symbols so I'm just gonna do basics Level one trades over here. There we go. So I can sort them by trade my number of trades on the day as well. So I know that Groupon has uh, had 153,350 trades on the day over on this one. TRXC over here. Let's open this one. So again, double clicking on the symbol opens the stock tab with all the information in uh, in total view mode, which displays all the widgets. So chart basics level two uh, time and sales as well as uh, the news box which includes news sec filings and events events is actually uh, the part that shows any type of price event that uh, we track so for now we are tracking um, high of the day five day high 10 day high 20 day high and uh, 26 and 52 weeks high as well as the lows so when the price is nearing those thresholds uh, there will be a trigger that appears over here on the events box and uh, in the same manner as news um, and it will display a blue bubble on the chart let's see if uh, Groupon has it over here let's open one that may have a little bit more um, activity let's go by volume so let's try SUNE over here oh, there we go so here you can see the event ri raised near day high at 1.7 dollars so we the high is at 1.71 and as you can see the the indicator will show that the price is nearing that specific threshold of uh, the day high at 171 if you can see it here on events raised near day high at 1.7 dollars 
and this allows you to have a good overview of what the price is doing you may also hide these indicators by, by clicking a little flame and the same principle for the news over here you see the news number five uh, you may actually hide it by clicking on the loudspeaker icon on the chart then again if you want to display them just re-enable them as you see fit and this this uh, concludes a brief introduction and uh, day lesson for stocks to trade and it gives you a basic idea of how to manipulate the various elements on the on the interface that are available to you thank you for watching